Hello everyone. I just have a couple of project shares for you today. Um, the first project share is, I saw this on a blog a couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. I cannot, I cannot pronounce the lady's, um, the name of the blog, so I will put it on the screen. I'll also put it underneath this video in the description box so you can go and pay a look. And what they are is like little postcards or letters, lavender sachet bags. Very, very simple. I got all my images from Pinterest. Uh, these are all sewn. I have machine sewing. I've done French seams around the edge there. Um, and for those that don't sew, French seaming is you sew it inside out, then you turn it the right way around, and then you do a line of stitching over the top so that the edges are enclosed inside. Um, and then I've hand stitched all the embellishments on these. So these were very simple. Uh, lovely little idea. I haven't really changed it from what she did. I just I just wanted to make a couple of things that I'd seen without, you know, altering them up because sometimes you see things and you just like them the way they are. So you want to make them. So that's what I've done. Um, but not my idea. Not my idea at all. Um, that's that one middle there, little one there, and then just a last one here. Some beading and all the little um, bits I've used on them, I took from my little jars that I, you know, my little containers that I have sat there. I thought I would decorate them with what's in there, so that's exactly what I've done. So they're all hand sewn and that was one project. The other one is a project I started in December. It's a teapot. Um, I started it in around Christmas time. I sewed it. I embellished it with wedding applique and I went all around it with the pink braid and I didn't like it at all. I, I just, I don't know what it was. I did not like it. I didn't like the shape. I just put it aside and it's been staring at me for the last three and a half months. And today I thought, okay, you're either going to work on it or you're going to dismantle it and forget about it. So I decided to work on it and I'm quite pleased with the way it turned out. Um, I didn't like the shape of it for starters. Um, and so I think what it was was the lid part. I've totally changed the lid part and it's kind of whimsical now and I really like that look. It's, um, there's not a lot to it actually. I've just printed out a picture. This is a tsunami rose image here. I've embellished the picture. It's actually a pin cushion. I've, I've put that in there to show its pin cushion. I have some lovely little beads here. I've added colour to this one. Uh, uh, seam binding bows and flowers and rosebuds and one of the puffy flowers under here and this lovely pleated trim and a doorknob on top with a blue aqua kind of flower and it's done exactly well not exactly it's done pretty much exactly how Margaret said to do it the only difference is mine stands up and that's simply because Instead of just sewing it together like that, I left the bottom open and I inserted an oval shape. Before I inserted the oval shape, I put a little bag of rice in there just to weight it down. It's not a big bag, it's not you know overly heavy, just enough to balance the teapot so it will stand. Then I've put a doily over the top. I've done pretty much the same on the top there, so it had a flatter surface on the top, uh, a little bit smaller than the, the bottom part, um, because I didn't want it like this up here. So it has a base to put all these flowers and things like that on. And that's all I've done. There is no pocket on the back of this one because I'm not sending it anywhere. I'm just, um, just noticed a bit of glue there I'll have to fix. Um, this is just for my own pleasure. It is a pleasure now that it's finished. I, I really like it. This little trim here came from Luscious Laces. Uh, the seam binding from Roseanne. And the 
this lovely butterfly. It was actually on a flower that somebody sent me, but it fell off the flower and it left, well, it fell off the flower, so I put it to the side and I just thought it would be perfect for this. So I have put that there. I think it may have been from Darlene, but I cannot be 100% sure on that. So, and I think that's all I have to say about that. I'm very pleased with it now. I, I do think it needs something over here, whether it needs some long beads or something like that. And I'm not exactly sure what, or maybe a butterfly. I, I really don't know. So I'm going to leave it and I'm sure eventually I will find just the right thing to put there. Um, but at the moment I just can't think. So if you have any suggestions on what to do here, because it, you know, it seems a little bit one-sided, doesn't it? Um, leave them in the comments below. That would be very much appreciated. So I hope you like my projects today and do pay those two people a visit. Margaret, who is 7 Mrs. T. Um, I will put a link to her teapot video in the description box below. And of course, um, I don't even want to attempt to say the name of the blog, but I will put it in the description box below. So thank you for joining me today. Bye.